The SFU men's ice hockey team were back on the ice for the 2009-2010 BCIHL season, albeit for an exhibition game against an unfamiliar opponent. The Burnaby Express, a junior A-level team residing in the British Columbia Hockey League, guaranteed a tough preseason matchup for the SFU clan. I probably speak for a lot of guys and say that we've had this game marked on our calendar for a long time. Uh, to be able to play a high-level team, a junior A team, um, we just wanted to be able to prove that we could play at that level, uh, make a name for our, our program, and that, that, that was what motivated us tonight. The heavily anticipated game told a tale of two stories. The first showed a clear display of motivation from the red and white as they jumped out to a 4-0 lead over the Express. The clan displayed to the Burnaby crowd the same talent and skill that put them atop the BCIHL League last season. However, just as quick as it took the clan to gain the lead, they let it slip away. So what are some areas that the team can work on before the start of the season? Definitely conditioning, you know, we're a little bit out of shape, but that's okay. Comes with time. And, you know, passes aren't as crisp as they should be, but we're doing all right. You know, we're going to tighten it up. You can see that they're... Uh... There were times where their aggressiveness maybe got the better of us. Uh, you know, times where one guy didn't necessarily know uh, where the puck was going when it was on someone else's stick. But a lot of new guys on this team. We had a big turnover. We've got basically half a new roster. It's only natural that it's going to take some time for guys to gel. And then once they do, I think we'll have something real nice. The crowd, however, didn't mind the seesaw battle between the two high-scoring combatants, as they were definitely provided with their money's worth. Emotion passion, or hate, call it what you want, there was plenty of it in this game. The game was definitely a crowd pleaser as both teams provided plenty of goals in an overtime thriller. However, it was SFU that had a chance to close the door on the Express early on in the game and failed to do so. Safe to say, the SFU clan definitely have some cobwebs to dust off before the start of the season. For SFU Hockey, I'm Camille Caramelli.